Wait for my slip. So when I slip, when you slip, you get that angle here. All right, a little lower with the body shot. Good. Take an angle this time. Good. So what me and Danny were working on there right there is another boxing and pad work drill I'm gonna give you today. And what it's working on is how to open up uppercuts up the middle. Beautiful shots to the body to open up uppercuts up the middle. So with the drill, I'm not just trying to create uppercut openings, I'm trying to create punches and what we're doing is we're using the body shot. So you're going, you're going to the outside, then you're coming up the middle. Then you're going back to the outside. So the way that combination looks and the way we're working it is, the way he's doing that is he's starting off with a one-two hook. And again, we always talk about heel-toe stance and the way you twist a punch. When you twist a punch, it sets up the next punch. When you twist the past punch, correctly. That's why everything synchronizes together. Like when he throws this one-two hook, that's going to bring him to the right hook. If he threw that one-two hook and he threw a hook like this, or he kind of threw it like this, then he would have to drop back here to throw a right hook to the body. If he, if he, if he threw the hook and he's just right here, then he'd have to drop. So when you throw a one-two hook, when you twist, when your shoulder planes like I talk about, that leads you right into a right hook or a right uppercut. So your, your three always leads you to your four or your five when you throw it correctly. One, two, hook, and he's going to come back with a right hook on this drill. So he's going one, two, hook, right hook to the body, left hook to the body, okay? And I'm, again, I'm using the pads, and at the end, I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you another bonus on how you can work this drill with the body shield, but it's one, two, hook, Right hook to the body, and, and, and just for you trainers, for the pads, what I do is, like I said, with these pad work drills, how I get guys to do things and know what I want without telling them is the way I hold the pads, and you build up a system. So my system with Danny is when I cross my hands like this, that means that I want the right hook to the body, and then I'm going to want the left hook to the body after it, okay? When I cross my hands where my right hand is under, my right hand is under my left. He's throwing a right hook to the body, then a left hook to the body. When I cross my hands this way, where my right hand is over top my left and my left is underneath my right, he's going to go left hook to the body, right hook to the body. Okay? So that's how I get him to, with, when we're working this drill, he knows what I want right off of the flow because I just show that to him and he knows that. So the system, that's part of the system that you can create where you're, you, you communicate with your fighter and you build that connection where you guys know exactly what the other one wants. When, like for me, he knows what I want when I show him this, okay? Like I said, I, he knows what I want right off of, right off of a flow, okay? And, and like when, he, when I, he throws this one, two hook, whether we're doing this drill or not, he, I could be working with all kinds of different uh, combinations. I could be working on all kinds of different combinations with him, but he could throw a one-two hook at any time. And when I show him this, that means the right hand is under, under my left hand. That means I want a right hook first, then a left hook second, and then he's going to come back with an uppercut, right hand, left hook. Okay? So that's the combination that I do with him. When I cross my hand, my right hand under, he always throws right hook to the body, Left hook to the body, left uppercut, right hand, left hook. He knows that. Then when I switch it back up, I'll, I'll want the left hook first to the body. I'm going to put the left hook, cross the left hook, the left hand, my left pad underneath my right hand, so he throws the left hook first. Left hook to the body, right hook to the body, right uppercut, left hook, right hand. So this drill, what we're doing is he's throwing a one-two hook. Go slow. We're going one-two hook. Okay. Now, that hook leads him to his right hook because of his shoulder plane. He is in position to throw either a right uppercut or a right hook. They're all the same. Those two punches and the straight right hand is the same shoulder trajectory. 
from where, it's, where you start the punch. Okay, so when he throws that right hook to the body, he knows that because I put my right hand underneath my left, I cross my hands under, the right hand comes, the left hand, the left hook to the body comes, then he's gonna throw a left uppercut, right hand, left hook. So when he throws that combination, he throws a one-two hook, which sets him up for his right hook. Now when I cross that right under the left pad, he, I cross my arms like this, okay? He throws the right hook to the body, left hook to the body, left uppercut, right hand, left hook. So it's a one-two hook, he's throwing three punches, then he's going one, two, three, four, five. Now, what is he doing there? He's creating some really nice, a really nice combination because he's throwing a one-two hook, which is taking him to a right hook to the body, a left hook to the body. Now what he did is he went, he opened that guy up. He went to the outside, to the outside. Now he's gonna come up the middle because he's throwing two punches that are bringing those hands out to protect the body. That's gonna be a guy's instinct on that, okay? He's going one-two hook, right hook to the body, left hook to the body. Now up the middle with the uppercut. Now once he picks him up with the uppercut, he comes straight back with that right hand and back with the left hook. Show it to him slow. One-two hook. Right hook to the body, left hook to the body, left uppercut, pick him up with the right hand. That's it, pick him up, and then take him up with the right hand. One more time, go a little slower. You're going one, two hook. You're gonna go right hook to the body, left hook to the body, left uppercut. Now when he picked him up with the uppercut, now here comes the straight right hand down the middle and then finishes up with a hook, okay? Then right off of that, what we're gonna add to that drill is I'm going to switch what I did. Instead of the right being under the left, the left's gonna be underneath the right. When the left's underneath the right, he goes left hook to the body, then he knows it's a back to the right hook to the body and a right uppercut. So what we did is we did the opposite of what we did last time because he threw a right hook and a left hook to the body. We just switched it up and we started with, instead of starting with the right hook to the body, we started with the left hook to the body and then we're gonna go with the right hook to the body and come with the right uppercut. The other way was the left uppercut. Go real slow, the whole thing is like this. One, two hook, okay? Right hook to the body, left hook to the body, left uppercut, right hand, left hook. Now I switch, he goes left hook to the body, right hook to the body, right uppercut, left hook, right hand. And then we like to finish, we're finishing that draw off with another angle. What we're gonna do is he's gonna go one, two hook, Right hook to the body, left hook to the body, left uppercut, right hand, left hook. Left hook to the body, right hook to the body, right uppercut, left hook, right hand. Under angle, right, right hand, left hook. So this is the way that looks a little quicker now. Good. Again, when you're training, when you're training, you can always get better. That's like my goal every day to try to get better and to create things and, and, and really, really work and try to dissect the details. And so like, like he could throw a right hook, a, a one, two hook right here. Okay. Just to give you guys something a little extra. When he throws this right hook, he can slide over before he throws the left hook. The same time he's throwing the right hook. There he goes. Now he got a little angle. Then he hit me with an angle and then up the middle. So the way it would look, instead of it being here, here, okay, and coming up the middle, he's gonna get his head a little bit more out of the way and then he's gonna be able to throw that from more of a blinding position from where I'm be holding my hand. So that's why you wanna do, you can use that angle and it's why it's important because when he throws, when he throws this and he slides over, see he's here, if I'm here, so let's say he hit me to the body he hit me to the body and then he hits me to the body there. I have my hand up. I can't see when he comes with that uppercut, he's coming up the middle. I can't see that because I'm blinding myself. Plus, if I tried to counter with a left hook, if he throws that right hook to the body and I try to counter a left hook, my left hook's gonna go behind him. And, when, and I go over this in a lot of my other videos on why it's so important to make angles and, and how you create angles with your footwork and what they do, what the angle does. It, it takes you, puts you in a position. 
where the guy can't hit you but you can hit him and you can also hit him with a shot that he doesn't see or doesn't see very well. So that's why it's so important to make those angles. So again, like I said, you can work on the drill, then you can start to work on the footwork. And if you watch Danny's footwork on this, when he goes over this way, what he can do is he can go one, two hook, okay, right hook, and then he slides over and gets a little angle. Then he throws a left hook to the body, left uppercut, right hand, left hook. Okay, now from there, he could just dip back down and throw the left hook without any footwork, okay? Then when he goes back over here, he could slide over here and throw the right hook to the body, right uppercut, left hook, right hand. Okay, and then when I throw the hook, he could go over an angle again. Right hand, left hook off the angle. So you could start working those angles. So I got another bonus for you guys. I always like to give you one. And uh, the way this works is when you're working the body shield, the combination of the drill that we did, he, he's going to do it on the shield now, see? So we'll go real slow. He's going to go one, two hook. Then Danny's going to go to the body. Body, up the middle. Right hand, left hook, okay? Then from there, he's going to throw a left hook to the body. Right hook to the body. Right uppercut, left hook. Right hand. Then I'm going to throw and he's going to angle. Right hand, left hook, okay? So that's the way that looks. And Again, we'll do it one more time, then I'm going to show you how you can put the angles in as well. So he's going one, two hook, right? One, two hook. He's going to go right hook to the body, left hook to the body, left uppercut, right hand, left hook. Then he's going to go left hook to my body, right hook to my body, right uppercut, left hook, right hand. Under, right hand, left hook, okay? As you've seen, he took that little angle over there. Now he can angle this whole drill. That's what I say, it's so important to watch these videos many times because you watch the footwork and you watch all the little things that I'm showing you that you can continue to add to one drill, okay? It's not about even learning another drill, it's about adding on to what you can do with the one drill because there's so many different options, okay? So he can go one, two hook, okay? And he's gonna go, when he throws this right hook, now this time he's gonna take an angle at the same time. See, now he got a little angle and then he hits me with that, now he's gonna come up the middle. See, so he, he blinded me from getting hit with that uppercut and he made that angle so I couldn't hit him with a counter left hook, okay? So now, what he's gonna do off of that right there is he's gonna come back with a right hand and a left hook. Now he can dip down again, throw a left hook to the body. Now this time he can angle that way, hit me with a right hook to the body, then he would come up the middle with a right uppercut, see? Right uppercut, left hook, right hand. Now from there, with that right hand, I'm going to throw, cut, redirect myself to throw a left hook at him. He can step over there, throw a right hand and a left hook, okay? So the way that looks a little quicker, okay, is one, two hook, right hook to the body, he steps, angle, then he goes this way, then he dips that, that's angle that way, under, that's it, okay? So now, what he can do is even add on to it again. See, we're going to add on to even more. We're going to add on to it even more. He can throw a one-two hook. He takes the angle. When he throws the right hook to the body, he's going to throw a one-two hook again. He's going to throw a right hook to the body, angle, left hook to the body, left uppercut, right hand, left hook. Okay? Now from there, I'll throw a right hand at him. Give him something to really visualize to make it a little bit more realistic. I throw a right hand. Now he throws, at the same time he throws that right hand, he throws a right hand to my body and a left hook to my body, okay? Then maybe I come back with a jab and he throws a right hook to the body, right uppercut, left hook, right hand. Then he's going to go underneath, this time he's going to throw a left hook to my body and then come back with the right hand hook. So if you watch the video over, you'll see how we added things into the original drill. And that's what it takes to really take your game to another level by being creative and keep on adding what you're doing to these drills. So again, we'll go one, two hook. Okay, right here, he's gonna angle. He throws that right hook, he's angling. Okay, so he took, what did he do when he angled? He threw the right hook to the body and he slid over. Brought his left foot up, the same time he was throwing that right hook, and then he slid his right foot up. And his toe is turned, facing his target, okay? And he, but he's, very, he's angling up and over a little bit so he can hit me with that left hook to the body. See, I would be looking at him here and he's a little bit over there. Now he's gonna come back up the middle with the uppercut, okay? Back with a right hand to my face and a hook, okay? Then from there, I throw a right hand at him and he goes, and he throws another right hook. He could throw a right hook to my body off a straight right or he could throw a straight right hand to the body and then throw a left hook to the body, okay? Then from there, I could turn, maybe I turn 
to even just find him where I could throw a jab but let's say I just turned to find him and he could go that way now I went to go there because I felt I felt his presence over here now he hits me with a right hook to the body right uppercut up the middle left hook right hand then he weaves under and when he's weaving under he's also throwing a left hook to the body at the same time he weaves and then he comes back with a right hand and a left hook to the head So that's a drill for you guys this week. Going to the gym, practice that. Um, practice these, these drills and send them to me. I'd like to see how you guys are doing. Send me a little clip. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you guys think of the video. And I'll see you guys again next week.